Scarath here, and this is an Asus laptop. Okay, so what we have here, sent over by the lovely folks at Asus, is the UXC or UX305C. This is not quite an ultrabook, not quite a, a netbook, but uh, something that's maybe more akin to the MacBook Air, if anything. It's a wonderfully sleek laptop offering uh, that comes in at a very nice price. It's specced up to the hilt to give you that uh, better than average uh, performance, whilst also maintaining a more humble price than the high-end laptops that you may see. It also happens to be one of the most gorgeous pieces of hardware on sale at the moment. So, Asus Zenbook, that's what they're calling it. The box itself is quite lovely. Sounds like there's lots of things inside and it's pretty heavy too. So let's get this open and see what it... Okay, it opens like a, a traditional box that you would expect. It opens quite traditionally, a bit like an old-fashioned board game. There is the Zen book on the top there. We'll have a look at the little bits of interest down here. We have uh, an Asus charger, uh, which has a plug on the end, obviously. There is also another piece here, which is a USB 3 to Ethernet adapter. Very handy, very handy indeed. Obviously the, the Ethernet is a very wide port, so the likes of a MacBook or the Zenbook uh, can forego it for those that don't actually use it to allow for a slimmer profile. We'll have a quick look at the laptop afterward. What else do we have in here? We have In Search of the Incredible. In Search of Incredible. Uh, the warranty card with warranty information. The user guide, which has a cloth at the back. Simple cloth. Not terribly large, but large enough to keep fingerprints at bay. I think that's about it. Yep. And then, of course, the lovely laptop. All slink wrapped, or not slink wrapped, but plastic wrapped to preserve it. And it's in from the cold, so we're getting a bit fingerprinty here. This is freezing, actually, because it is all well, aluminium, I believe. So it says Asus there, and it's got that nice kind of whirly effect with the circular cut. Uh, along the back here, we have two little feet that help prop it up just a wee bit whenever you're typing and it's open. Other than that, nothing. It's, it's noticeably thin, you know, this is the fat end. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's incredible. Around this side we have two USBs, I believe they are threes. A, an SD card slot here. Looking from here you can see that it's, it's not a full SD card slot. The SD card will f sit out probably quite a considerable distance. It looks like maybe a a third of the card will actually go into that hole as opposed to even a half. I know you can get half cards which are micro SD adapters that fit in quite nicely but this yeah that's a little bit of a disappointment but I suppose they have to save space given just how thin this is. Along the front there is nothing but an incredibly thin profile. It really is very thin. And here we have a hard disk light, a battery light, 
the headphone jack, uh, micro HDMI out, a USB 3, and the power connector for the charger that we saw earlier. Along the bottom, nothing but the Windows logo there, and four pads here and here. Uh, there are screws here for those that uh, like to do some home tinkering. They look to be very small Torx screws and I believe that there are four screws under these pads as well because I've already looked into the idea of beefing up the SSD and as to whether or not you can add more RAM. From what I've read so far you can change the SSD however you cannot change the RAM. Looking inside Lovely. That is a that's a piece of beauty. It really is. There's a, a large 13.3 inch screen here. As you can see there, it says it's an IPS Quad HD display, sleek, ultra slim, 13.3 millimeters. Oh, okay. Maybe it's 13. Maybe that's where I read that spec from. They've kept the 13.3 here, and then it's 13.3 millimeters fat as well. And then there's a, a long life battery too. And obviously these are the, the, the keys here. We've got uh, this is the Intel Core M5 variant we have here. With the HDMI and energy saving. Uh, there's a little logo here that says audio by Ice Power buying an Olsen technology. And the, the stand, it's sort of a standard layout. I notice a few keys that are a little different. Up here we have a, a sleep button and an airplane mode, which obviously must work with the function key there. And one thing that I'm just noticing that I never even noticed on the spec sheet was that this is indeed touchscreen. <laughs> it's a Windows 10 touchscreen device. Wow, that's even more impressive again. Fantastic. Well, let's get her boot up. Obviously, there's got to be a little bit of power in here. Which there isn't. It needs a full charge. So it comes with Windows 10 64-bit installed. It has a dual-core 900 megahertz Intel M3 6Y30 uh, processor which can turbo up to 2.2 gigahertz. Importantly this is fanless, completely fanless. Uh, whenever it's running at 2.2 I'm guessing that it'll generate quite a bit of heat. I didn't see too many exhausts around here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any exhausts at all actually. There's the speaker grills here. Uh, but there's no actual exhausts around the device at all, so it must use the aluminium case to dissipate the heat. There's 8 gigabytes of non-upgradable RAM, and they run at 1866 megahertz. They're DDR3 rated. Uh, there's onboard graphics, uh, Intel HD 15 or 515, uh, alongside a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Okay, so we'll jump her into action so we can have a quick look at how this should boot like crazy I imagine. <clears throat> There's Bluetooth 4.0 built in as well uh, plus uh, wireless AG, B, N and AC. Starting price is around 600 pounds, but it can rise quite quickly once you get the higher specs. And it comes with a year's warranty. Weight-wise, it, it's 2.65 pounds, but that's uh, that's not terribly high. So we're looking at English, United Kingdom, yes. Your preferred app language, United Kingdom, United Kingdom and Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, and London. It's a 
beautiful to have a touch screen. So convenient. So really, yeah, it comes with some brains to throw in something like this as well. That is, that's just a uh, customer priority, right out of the box. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit taken aback. I didn't expect this at all. Uh, so many companies are just quite happy to do away with a feature if it costs them a couple of quid, uh, but for them to actually go the extra mile and provide you with a specific dongle, USB three at that too. Um, it uh, never fails to take my breath away. That's uh, real care from ASUS there. if we can bring up some system settings here. So inside, just to confirm with what's on the box there, because sometimes you can get uh, SSDs that are slightly smaller or whatever, we have the Intel Core M60 6 Wi Fi 4, uh, 1.0 gigahertz, 1.10 gigahertz, 1.51 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the 64 bit version of Windows 10. Just uh, one of the first things that's popped up here is an offer for Dropbox and ASUS. You get 25 gigabytes of space for six months when using Dropbox on this device. Not bad. I'm complaining six months isn't the longest amount of time, but uh, noticing the keys on the keyboard, the font that they actually use is quite sleek and sporty looking. You can notice it almost straight away with the W. It almost looks like it's italic. It's just a little bit of a an added thought to it. The EH as well, anything that's obviously uh, sort of standing vertically, uh, it it sweeps to the side just just a little to make you feel a little more fast paced. I'm really enjoying typing on the keyboard. It's it's a very smooth keyboard to use. And with this uh and a super little font here it it really helps with the uh with the usage of it. It makes it a lot simpler to uh to write on and work across. Okay so then again whereas Dropbox is giving you twenty five gigabytes we also have ASUS web storage and it seems to be giving uh, 16 gigabytes. Just having used it for a, f a few minutes there, I can feel here that it's getting very hot. Um, a couple of updates installed and I installed Chrome and Steam. But I can feel it's already getting quite warm there. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it for a few days and we'll uh, let it charge up, uh, get it all set up with everything that I want to run on it. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll post a few videos about it over the next few days and then uh, we'll have a review up in a couple of weeks of just how lovely this is or if I come across some inherent flaws that it, it might well have. 
but other than that, it feels like a beautiful piece of kit so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing with it a bit more over the next couple of weeks and, uh, and judging it.